Martin, good morning. Martin Storch from uh, Tektronics. How are you? Excellent, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're here at Electronica. Very exciting day ahead of us, lots of busy uh, activity. Um, hey, can you explain to us what you're demonstrating today and, um, and precisely what, uh, what it all yeah. does? Actually, Tektronics is one of the leading measurement, test measurement vendors. Yeah. And we brought today our very innovative, world's only so-called mixed domain oscilloscope. Oscilloscope normally is measuring a time domain. Yeah. We are doing measurements in three domains. One is the time domain, the third is the digital channel, so like a logic analyzer, and the third, that's the innovative approach, is the world's only spectrum analyzer coming with the oscilloscope. This allows us in the today's world of growing market of wireless technologies to do correlated measurement, for instance, on wireless chips, on your wireless LAN chip, on your uh, Bluetooth chip, for contouring a chip, and what the RF chip is bringing out. Just let me show the example here, where we have a VCO enable signal, that's the analog signal, and the PLL output signal. If you look at these guys, what is that? I just zoom in a little bit. There's the wave inspector feature of the oscilloscope, and you can see this is an SPI bus. That's a low speed serial data controlling yes. bus of the RF chip. Yes. And now what I can do is just switch off the zoom and you see on the lower part of the screen, follow this bar. If you move it to the left, before the VCO label was on, spectrum is empty. The transmitter yes. is not sending. And now you can see if this switch is on, the serial command is there. This frequency is swinging in to the requirement of 2.4 GHz and you can follow up how quick it will settle up and what's the, the band that's occupying during this process. Now let's move to the right all the time and here we are. Wow. 2.4 GHz. From here to here it's about 300 microseconds so I can measure that exactly having captured simultaneously analog signals, digital signals and an RF signal for the end connect. Wow. Now mixed domain oscilloscope, um, Martin, how unique is this piece of equipment that you're this showing today? This is the only mixed domain oscilloscope on the market today and it turns to be very successful for Tektronics and hopefully also for Farnell. Absolutely, this is what we want to we want to see. Mm -hmm. And um, the end applications that an engineer would use this kind of scope for, just yeah. some examples. Yeah, as an example, as I said, if you have to design wireless solutions, embedded solutions with wireless chips on it, you have to uh, design the boards controlling these wireless chips. So the most commonly with I square C bus, SPI buses, yes. these are controlled and then you have to see how your wireless chip transmitter is reacting to these input yes. signals. Okay? So that's just one simple application. Oh, fantastic. Look, I can see that the exhibition is warming up. I hope you have a fantastic day here Thank on the uh, Element 14 stand. Sure it's going to be good. Thanks very much indeed Thank for your you. time. Bye. Cheers. Bye.